все чесніші отці, шановні голови українських громадських організацій, зокрема пане Тараси Багрі, президент Куку тут в Торонті, колеги з усіх трьох рівнів громадського, і я хочу також спеціально відмітити мої колеги з Канада-Україн парламентарної френдшіп групи екзекутів Джулі Джеруїц, and James Maloney. We also had two executive members who had to leave a little bit earlier, Peter Fonseca and Reef Virani. And it's a tremendous honor to bring greetings on behalf of the government of Ukraine and the Prime Minister, the Right Honorable Justin Trudeau. Just last month, we were in Ukraine on an official state visit with the Prime Minister. And when anniversaries come, especially milestone anniversaries, one can't help but reminisce. Last month, as I stood in the presidential administration, watching our good colleague and friend, fellow Ukrainian Canadian, Minister Christia Freeland, signing the free trade agreement with her Ukrainian counterpart. I stood there with the Prime Minister and the President of Ukraine and I thought back to 1989 when there was a trade delegation from Ontario to the Ukrainian Soviet Socialist Republic that was headed up by Bob Onishchuk who I saw here earlier today and Mr. Havrilishin who's an advisor to the Ukrainian government on economic matters. Who could have imagined that two years hence we would see the birth of a Ukrainian state? And I couldn't have imagined that 25 years into the future that I would be there standing with the Prime Minister, with Christian Freeland as the Minister of International Trade signing a free trade agreement. Now some people have said that, well, our trade, bilateral trade is modest. But the importance of this agreement is beyond our current levels of trade. It's symbolically showing that we are standing in partnership with Ukraine as Ukraine rebuilds her post-Soviet oligarchic economy. But it's also incredibly important because Ukraine has a free trade agreement with the European Union and we're part of NAFTA. Canadian business now has the opportunity of investing into Ukraine as a gateway into the European common market and Ukrainian businesses can invest here in Canada as a gateway into the North American market. But there is also another moment that I'd like to share with you during that trip. And it came on the first evening when the Prime Minister arrived and there was a reception at the Arsenal in Kayu. And as often happens, people surround our Prime Minister for selfies. But off to the side, there were two soldiers standing who I'd spoken with earlier. These were soldiers who had spilt their blood and left parts of their bodies on the battlefield. Soldiers who'd had cranial reconstruction done by a doctor from Etobicoke here, Zenko Antonishin. And when I pointed that out to the Prime Minister, Notwithstanding the crowd around him, he said, Boris, take me over to those soldiers. We walked over, and it was the first time I saw the Prime Minister say, could I have the honor of having my picture taken with you two gentlemen? Two days later, in Yavoriu, when the Prime Minister spoke to the 200 Canadian soldiers, he made clear how important this training mission is 
and how Canada will continue standing shoulder to shoulder with Ukraine. We will stand shoulder to shoulder as Ukraine rebuilds her economy and we will stand shoulder to shoulder with Ukraine as Ukraine stands up against the military aggressions of Vladimir Putin.